Well, with holiday parties in full swing, how loud is too loud, according to the new Grand Rapids Noise Ordinance? Tom Sinus joining us now to explain the changes when you may be in violation as well. We all like a good party, but we also, on the other end, don't like to be kept up by a noisy neighbor having a good party, specifically on a work night. That's right. And also, nobody likes to be a party pooper and have to call in their neighbor. <laughs> good right? point. That's right. So where are we at in all this? Well, it just so happens that on November 19th of this okay. year, the City Council of Grand Rapids passed a new noise ordinance, okay. which really kind of revamped the way we think about this problem in the city. And the easiest way to think about it is that we've moved from a kind of really technical decibel level standard okay. to more of what is being called a reasonableness standard. Okay. All right, so what does that mean? Well, here's the basic gist of what this noise ordinance attempts to prohibit. It prohibits what are called noise disturbances. And here's how the city council defined that. Any sound that unreasonably disturbs a person of normal sensitivities or unreasonably interferes with the peaceful enjoyment of the premises of another <laughs> because wow. the sound, A, can be heard due to the volume or intensity of the sound, and B, can be heard distinctly and discreetly above the ambient sound of the surrounding area. That's exactly what my wife yelled at me last night when she exactly. told me to turn the TV down. What are the odds? Exactly. <laughs> so that's the standard, but it's wordy enough and squishy enough yeah. that it doesn't really give you a specific understanding. But I think the general idea here is not too loud. Well, yeah. what is too loud is kind of in the eye of the beholder. But sure. we do have some specific limits here that probably will give people a bit more guidance than that. One of them has to do with disturbances in residential areas. And here, the ordinance says that these disturbances are prohibited between 10 o'clock at night and 7 o'clock in the morning if the, dis if the audible sound can be heard 25 feet or more from the property line. There you go. Okay. That makes sense. We have a similar uh, rule that applies to, com to commercial establishments. That's 100 feet from the property line. And then there are rules dealing with audio equipment, musical instruments, and there, the ordinance says that the sound should not be heard across the property line, again, between 10 and 7. So okay. that's a little bit more yeah. specific. The third thing that happened here is the city council changed the way that the, the violations for this were treated. It used to be that these were all misdemeanor violations. Now, uh, the city has made an attempt to sort of decriminalize this offense. And so it starts and really it, 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 the default is a civil infraction, you yeah. know, a monetary fine. Sure, sure. The only time that people will get themselves into criminal trouble here in the form of a misdemeanor is if they have a series of repeat offenses sure. within a six month period of time. That makes sense, sure. Okay. So, what does all that mean? Yeah. Probably, in the end of the day, the best lesson is treat your neighbor the way you want to be treated. Well done, well done, and, I like it. And otherwise, you're gonna spend a lot of For time sure. trying to figure out all that verbiage means. Got any party poopers out there that need to track you down? Where do they find you, Tom? <laughs> well, I'm taking a vacation. All right. But uh, you can give us a call in West Michigan at 616-301-3333 or online at www.sinusdramus.com or email at info at sinusdramus.com. Right. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Derek.